Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today you are here with Chef Haley and Chef Marshall. And Chef Marshall just got a new hat. Didn't you, Chef? Okay, so here's what we're making today. We have we have some old bananas. So I think we're gonna make some banana bread. Does that sound good? Yeah? Okay. Let me get out our uh, recipe and we'll get started. Okay, so we're using the Magnolia Table uh, cookbook with the after school banana bread. Um, and here we go. We had to get strapped up, but we are about to get all of our ingredients ready for our banana bread. All right, here is what you're gonna need to make our banana bread. Butter, vanilla, two eggs, brown sugar. Calls for four to five ripe bananas, but I only have three, so we're gonna use three. Baking soda, salt, sugar, and flour. First up, we need to preheat the oven to 350 and spray a pan with parchment base. So it called for an eight by eight baking dish, but I'm gonna do a loaf because we like loafs around here. And we're gonna just line it with some parchment paper. Okay, so now we're gonna beat the butter, brown sugar, eggs, and vanilla. And then we're gonna add the bananas. All right, we've got the bowl. We're gonna venture across the kitchen because we need to be by an outlet. All right, chef. We're using the hand mixer today because I think It'll be more fun with Marshy if he can like help out. Where if we use a stand mixer, we're like, you know, the stand mixer's doing the work. And we're trying to cook. We're trying to be sous chefs, chefs. Okay, first up, we put the butter in the bowl and now we're gonna do a cup of brown sugar. So we're gonna take a cup, Marshy man. We're gonna pack it, pack it in. All right, so we've got a cup of packed brown sugar and we're gonna add it to the bowl. And now we're gonna mix this um, with a hand mixer and mix it together. You ready? Now we're gonna add one and a half um, teaspoons of vanilla. One. And we're just gonna eyeball the half. And now we're adding the two eggs and then we're gonna beat all of that together in the bowl. One egg, one more. We're gonna take our mixer and we're gonna beat it again. Let's turn her on. Okay, now we're gonna peel the bananas and add them to the bowl and then we're gonna mix again. I think you're supposed to have mashed, but it says you can leave them chunky. So I'm just gonna kind of like smush them into the bowl when I'm putting them in. Is that cool, Marshy? And then I'm gonna blend them again because um, I think they'll get pretty blended because they're pretty soft. Second banana. One more. Whoa. Hey. Now we're gonna take the mixer again and we're gonna mix it with the bananas in. Now we're adding the salt. We're doing half a teaspoon, and this is a teaspoon, so I'm just doing half of this. You're supposed to mix the dry stuff in another bowl and then pour it in, but we don't have time for that. We're cooking with a sous chef, so. I'm also a clean as you go type of, a clean as you cook type of person, so after we use the ingredients, we put them up. So we did the salt, and now we're gonna add the baking soda. We're gonna do one okay. teaspoon of baking soda. Ready for the baking soda? Oh, 
alright. Our flour, Marshy. We have one cup of flour, one, and then I was gonna eyeball it, but it doesn't have the lines on the cup, you know, on like those, like on the glass ones it has it, but anyways, we're gonna do three fourths. So one, two, and then one more. Three. So that's all of our flour, and now we're going to mix her up. But of course, we're gonna put it away. Here's what it looks like after we flip the camera. So this is our finished product. That's our banana bread. It calls for pecans, but I don't know if Marshy's allergic and they're kind of like big chunks and I want him to obviously enjoy it too. So we, yeah, say we x the pecans. Okay, so now we're gonna get this loaf pan. Normally I would just pick up the bowl and scrape it in, but he's kind of obstructing my view. So I'm just gonna use this little ladle and we're gonna ladle it into the parchment. So we're gonna take a scoop. Oh, this is the way to go for sure. Looks like we're scooping like mashed potatoes with gravy or something. It's just banana bread, but doesn't it look like mashed potatoes or something? Like someone's, and the lunch lady's like serving you. Just kidding, Marshy. It's just banana bread. Just joshing around here. Also, I didn't trim the parchment paper to like fit the loaf pan, so we're just going with the flow here. You can let it spill a little bit. Shimmy shake it out. I didn't trim the parchment paper before because sometimes when I trim it before, it like slides out from under me from where I want to cook it. You know what I mean? Like the, the batter or whatever. So I waited till after this time and I think that honestly was the move. Here is what the banana bread looks like. We're gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of sugar and then we're gonna pop it in the oven. All right, now we've got the sugar. I'm gonna put a little bit on top. I know Ross likes it like crunchy on top from the sugar, so I'm gonna kind of hit it, hit it pretty hard. All right, we're gonna put it in the oven. It says it cooks for like 45 minutes, but I was also making a I'm supposed to do an eight by eight pan and this is a loaf pan. So we're just gonna watch it after we put it in the oven. All right, now that's gonna cook. He's gonna go play, I'm gonna clean up and we'll come back when it's out of the oven. <laughs> Say banana bread, banana bread, banana bread, banana bread. Go, go chef, go, go, go chef. Go, go chef, go, go, go chef. All right, my back's gonna break with this, so I'm gonna take him out. Our banana bread is out of the oven. You ready to show them, Marshy Marsh? Here is our banana bread. We're about to cut it up and have some. Yeah, it's still hot. Hot. You did a good job today, chef. You tell everyone bye. Say bye, everybody.